Uh, hello everyone, welcome to another energy drink review. So today we're trying out another Killer Buzz energy drink. So the first one I reviewed was, uh, I have the can over there, the uh, Hypnotic Hazelnut Killer Buzz Coffee Plus Energy. Um, then I tried the original one which was called Proto. Um, I was a huge fan of the Hypnotic Hazelnut. I figured um, today, since, and this is this and the other coffee one that I have remaining, uh, the, they were the only two that I had in the fridge, so and I wanted to do a review right now, so I figured, well, might as well just get this one out of the way since I it's probably gonna be pretty good since the hazelnut one was good. So this is the Killer Buzz Coffee Plus Energy Mocha Madness. Here's a quick close up of the can for you. Okay, so that's the front, sort of. And then there's this little description on the back, which I'll read to you now. Bedlam, mayhem, chaos, cats and dogs sleeping together. A, a descent into the deranged recesses of your mind that will leave you reeling in the stink of your own psychosis. Uh, we try to warn you, one swig and you'll never be the same. The decadent dark chocolate taste, the rich java brew, and the frothy, creamy goodness will overwhelm your willpower. Put that can down and walk away, we implored. But you wouldn't listen. So proud. Now it's too late. Uh -uh. Nothing else matters except for your next hit of Killer Buzz Mocha Madness. I envy you. Stick that in a can and drink it. My only issue with mocha coffee energy drinks is the ones I've had, it's not that they taste bad. But they sort of let me down because there's a sort of, I find a lack of chocolate flavor. Because mocha is supposed to be uh, chocolate. You know, obviously chocolate coffee. I'm hoping that this one will have a, deliver a better uh, dark chocolate experience as it claims it does on the can. So we'll see. Crack it open. Mmm. And the smell it smells similar to the uh, hazelnut coffee one. I can't, I can't really determine too much chocolate in the smell at all. Like, I mean, purely, purely based on smell, I don't think I'd be able to uh, differentiate between this and the other one. So, you know, now that I poured it into a cup, I'm actually smelling a bit more chocolate. So let's give it a taste. That's um, that's definitely more chocolate for sure. That's it. That's that's it. That's more chocolate um, than any other mocha coffee energy drink I've tasted. You just get a full. I like it because it's a, the chocolate flavor doesn't overpower the coffee flavor. And the coffee flavor doesn't o overpower the chocolate. I mean, it's just a very e evenly distributed kind of flavor. It's a perfect combination, perfect balance between coffee and chocolate. It's a great tasting drink. After this, the only Killer Buzz coffee drink that I have to try is the, the Luscious Latte. So, I don't know. I'm going to probably try to balance it out. I Probably, next review, I'll probably want to do uh, one of the other non-coffee flavors because I did the original and... I want to sort of get the other ones out of the way as well before I do the last coffee one. But, I mean, I think it's safe to say at this point that Killer Buzz makes some really good coffee energy drinks. So, um, I looked into it a little more and I think these ones, pretty much, your best bet would be to order these from their website, which is killerbuzz.com. So, um, like I said, this is probably... The best thing to do would be to order it. Um, I don't think it's really readily available in stores, the coffee ones anyways. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to give this uh, eight. Hmm. What did I give the other one? I think I gave the other one like a nine, the hazelnut. I think, I'm gonna s I think I'll throw this at an eight. It's a really good tasting drink. I just think that even though this one is better than the other mocha flavored drinks I've had, I still... When it comes to coffee energy drinks, I still don't really go for the mocha sort of ones. I go for vanilla, 
like sort of like a hazelnut toffee some stuff like that like I don't really I kind of skip the mocha ones over but as far as they go this one is really good so that's an 8 out of 10 for the killer buzz mocha madness coffee plus energy highly recommended but I think the the hazelnut is better so see you guys later